Okay. Have you ever thought what life would be like if we had no senses? Imagine, we cannot hear, we cannot see, we cannot sense, smell, we cannot taste anything. If you think about it, we are highly dependent on senses in our lives. Their primary role is to protect us from the threats in the outer world and to su support our survival. And they are doing a good job too. The proof, we as a humankind are still here. And what is more, we are good at using our senses to enjoy our lives with all the smells, tastes, and colors. Some of our senses are not as good as in other species, like dog's sense of smell or eagle's sense of sight. Nevertheless, you must agree that we are equipped with highly advanced senses. The question is, can we always trust them? So let's consider carbon monoxide, which I'm sure you all know is called a silent killer for a reason. We cannot see it, we cannot smell it, we cannot taste it, but it can kill us. So this is an extreme example, but there are many other threats which we cannot sense. They may not kill us, not straight away, but they can cause damage to our health. So let's consider food poisoning. According to World Health Organization report, very recent one from 2015, one in 10 people fall ill from eating contaminated food. Almost half a million people die as a result. So as you can see, threats that we cannot detect with our senses are there in what we eat, what we drink, and what we breathe. But there is one more very important area where we would benefit from an additional sense. What would you think of an extra sense which could report to us what's going on in our bodies? This would enable early diagnosis of illnesses. So what's the possible solution then to these senses that we are missing? One solution is to use something or someone that can take this sensing from us. And this is not a novel idea. If you were a VIP in the medieval times and were not sure about the origin of your food, what would you do? Well, you get, you, I'm sorry, <laughs> you get one of your servants, the one you don't like, <laughs> and require him to try. Well, what would you do today, especially if you do not have a servant? The easiest way would be to buy a sensor. But up till now, there have not been too many sensors available for public use, and the number of the chemicals that can be detected with the available ones is still limited. So you can easily buy sensors like carbon monoxide sensor, and I hope many of you have such at home. In terms of health monitoring, um, there are a few sensors like medical sensor, like glucometer, occurring self-diagnosis at home, so which is a very appealing idea. So think what makes a sensor interesting for everyday use. It should be light, small, portable, wearable, or even implantable, so that you can always have it with you. Well, fabrication of such a sensor, which is light, small, portable, is not an easy task. Fabrication even of bulky sensor is already a challenge. To understand, to understand why, let's go quickly through the working principle of a sensor, which is capable of detection of chemical species. So first of all, you need the material. Not any material, but the material, material which will interact with your, with your chemical of interest. This interaction must induce changes in the properties of the material, which must be measured and then translated into a user-friendly information, which is displayed on the screen or communicated with a sound. So additionally, you need a display and you need or you need an uh, alarm unit, and therefore a power supply. So this is where the things start to become bulky. 
but scientists, myself included, are there to provide another generation of sensors. So what would you think of a sensor which does not need any power to operate and is small and portable? So now, well, it sounds like wishful thinking. So now I would like you to have a look, um, to take out your credit cards, actually, <laughs> from, from your wallets. I know you have them with you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you for the details. <laughs> My research is generously funded by Irish Research Council. <laughs> what I would like you to do if, is to have a look at the hologram. And what would you think of a sensor which is a, of the size of a hologram and is as light as a hologram? And what would you think if a sensor is a hologram itself? and it changes its color or the text or image which it displays when the chemical threat is there. Believe it not, this is already happening, still in the laboratories, but soon to be readily available for everyone. And my job is to make it happen. So have a look on the example of such a sensor produced at Dublin Institute of Technology. This is a hologram of a coin which changes the color when the concentration of the chemical changes. To understand how it works, to put it simple, you can imagine this kind of devices as mirrors, as mirrors which reflect only one certain color of light. And this color depends on the concentration of chemical. So because the mirror acts as a display, there is no need for power, only white light. By now, it is possible to detect with such sensors, metabolize like metabolize enzymes, ions, drugs, gases, but I won't list these <laughs> things. But to keep it simple, you can use them to detect threats outside and inside you, based on breath or bottle fluids, like tear or blood. Since they are small, they're portable, they can be integrated with mobile devices or with any piece of clothing. So Imagine, soon we will be all equipped with extra senses which will detect what our natural senses cannot. Talking about senses, if my sense of time is right, I should be finishing now, so. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, let's get back to your credit cards. I saw a platinum one somewhere over there, so. <laughs> Next time, when you have your credit card in your hands, have a look at hologram there and think about the future of sensing. Think about how such a tiny device could improve or even save your life. And finally, when you finish admiring the hologram, just use the card, buy yourself something to indulge your natural senses. 